So when we redefine things, we change the eligibility of people who are able to get benefits, or in the, in the case of schools, as an example, we limit the types of funding um, that are going to be priority. And so the best way to, exa to, to kind of explain that, the best way to explain that is this water bottle. Uh, for the purposes of this video, um, assume that this water bottle is full of money. It's a full, fully funded budget. And we all agree, again, for the purposes of this video, that the amount of funding in this bottle is completely adequate to fund education, as an example, or perhaps it's adequate to completely fund the Agency for Persons with Disabilities. Um, it'll wipe out all the wait lists that, that exist fully funded. This budget is not fully funded, yet what we do is redefine the eligibility and we fund it fully by changing the eligibility. We've redefined the definition and now it's fully funded. The question I have for you is, what did we do to the program? As you can see, with this model, we have completely destroyed the program. Less people getting funding, less people getting help, people generally vulnerable in some way. It could be seniors, frail seniors, could be children without medical care, um, could be Medicaid, could be your child's education, as opposed to where it was, both fully funded, but this one, this is the politically, it's a political way to do things in Tallahassee. This is what happens when you budget with less than 60 days.